Hello. Hey, Nana. Oh, hi, Christian. How is it going? Quick question. What are three of your favorite colors? You said, what are my three favorite colors? Fuchsia, see, like my nails, sea foam, and white. Lastly, I just want to say how grateful I am to you for just always being there for us, for being an amazing caregiver and provider. We just love and appreciate you so much. Oh, sweetheart, that's fine. Thank you. You know you and your, and your brother are my love. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Making Space, the place where I invite you to join me in making something together. My name is Christian Robinson. I am an author and illustrator of books for children, which basically means I get to draw and make up stuff all the time. Right now, I am sitting in my making space, my art studio, the garage right behind my house. And I believe that creativity has the power to heal, that everyone has that creative spark within them. And it's my hope that these videos might inspire or encourage you to explore your creativity. Right now, many of us are being asked to stay in and that can be challenging, but I feel like if we can't go outside at the moment, let's go inside, into our imaginations where anything is possible and create something together. As some of you may know, this weekend is Mother's Day, the time in which we celebrate moms. Um, for me, Mother's Day has always been a time where I celebrate my grandmother because she was the one who raised me. Both my mother and father were not able to take care of us growing up. Um, but I like to think that Mother's Day is a time in which we can celebrate anyone who is a caregiver to us. So it could be an aunt or an uncle or a cousin or a sibling or a grandparent. Maybe you have two mothers to celebrate on Mother's Day or two fathers. Um, you know, anyone who's a caregiver can be celebrated on this day. And I know this day can also be challenging for some people, for those of us who maybe don't have a close relationship with our mothers or whose mothers or caregivers may have since have passed. Um, but the beautiful thing about art and creativity is that you can create something and share it with somebody or you can create something and dedicate it to someone. So I think on this Mother's Day, let's create something that we can give or dedicate to someone that we love, our caregivers, our caretakers, the people who are there for us. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's have fun. Sound good? All right, so here's what we're gonna make today, a Mother's Day bouquet. We're gonna need a brown paper bag, a paintbrush, a fork, a spoon, and a toilet paper roll. We fancy. <laughs> so I took a pencil and I sketched out what would be my vase, my vase, um, and then I kind of put this like circle in the middle to give it that 3D effect. Pretty trippy, huh? Um, and then I used a marker to outline my sketch, and then I just erased the pencil sketches. Uh, and then, I took that fork and I dipped it in some paint and I made these little markings and I kind of just went in like a circle. And I just kind of kept doing this, adding paint and going in the circle. And it ends up making this really fun textured flower. Then I took that toilet paper roll and I began to snip at the sides in a circle. Then I folded down those edges, kind of got them flat and I got some fuchsia. What a great color. It's a lot of fun. My grandmother's a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't like how much, I, I kind of just kept putting as much paint as I wanted on there, try to get as much as I could. Um, and then I didn't really like how it turned out the first time, so I just kind of kept doing it. And there, that felt right. Sea foam, oh my goodness, right? Uh, and then I took that spoon and I made a kind of also a circle and it makes these really cool flower petals. And keep in mind, your bouquet might look completely different because your mother or caregiver might have completely different favorite colors. And then I just kind of randomly decided where to put my leaves. One on this side, one over here, and one down there. And there you have it, our Mother's Day bouquet. 
Today's art project was inspired by a book. This book right here, Gaston, written by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by me. If I could describe this book in one word, it would be family. It's sort of about how family isn't one size fits all, how there are many ways that families show up and appear. I wanna make sure that a family gets a chance to win a free copy of this book. So basically all you have to do is comment, uh, like this video, comment below, and I will make sure that someone gets a free copy of this book. I will do this by supporting our local and independent bookstores. So either a bookshop in your town or mine, and I'll make sure that they send you a copy. Um, but, oh, I think we should hear more about this story from the author herself. So I'm actually expecting a call from Kelly DiPuccio any moment now. Ah, here she is. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Christian. It's so good to hear from you. So I have a question for you. What would you say inspired this song? And what do you think the story says about families and caregivers? A lot of people want to know what the inspiration for Gaston was. And the truth is, I just saw the cutest little French bulldog puppy on YouTube, and I just fell in love with him. And I started to do some research about French bulldogs. And as I was doing that, I was finding all these great pictures of French poodles. And so I kind of came up with the idea, like, what if I wrote a story about a French bulldog who grows up with the family of French poodles? And I think that's what's one of the great things about the book Gaston is that we see that not all families look exactly the same and that family is really a feeling of belonging and that families also are a place where you feel loved and accepted. Um, and that's true for caregivers too. Caregivers aren't just moms or dads or grandparents. Caregivers can be anyone who loves and accepts us unconditionally. And, and I think that's what the story kind of shows um, with Gaston and his siblings. Okay, lastly, do you have anything to say to all the mothers and all the caregivers on Mother's Day? Uh, I'd like to say to all of the moms and caregivers out there, Happy Mother's Day from Fifi, Fufu, Ulala, and Gaston. Bye, Christian. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Bye, Kelly. And bye, everyone at home. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Making Space. Thank you for making space for fun, creativity, and just being together.